Hi, first graders. Ms. Johnson here. I hope you're having a great day. We are going to do an activity today with our decodable reader called Let's Find Out. So if you could go find that right now, it looks like this. Let's find out. So grab this decodable reader and then also grab a pencil or a marker or a highlighter or a crayon, something you're going to use to circle some words that we're going to be looking for this week. So you go ahead and do that. I am going to get my color. I'm going to choose one of my favorite colors, which um, is yellow. So I'm going to choose yellow. So I'm going to get us into full screen. Okay, so let's find out. Before we start, let's find out. We're going to look at the cover right here. And on the cover of our story, um, let's think about what we see. Um, why do you think the children are all holding different things? So be thinking when we're reading the story, why are all the children holding different things? Um, the story is by... Walter Dawson. So Walter is the author, which means he wrote the words. It's illustrated by Amanda Harvey. Amanda Harvey um, is the illustrator, which means she drew the picture. So let's find out. Have your marker or highlighter or crayon or pencil ready to go. Okay, so this week we're working on that, that, that sound that makes either the oo sound as in flu or the sound you hear in good, the uh sound. So we're going to be looking for those two sounds. So Mrs. Booth's room is planning a let's find out day. We are all sitting in a small group. We will tell what we plan to do. Joe will bring flowers that he grew. Joy will show her drawings of clouds and blue sky. So right there we answered our question about why do you think the children are all holding different things? Because they're going to be sharing different things that they have brought into the classroom. I'll bring my new pet mouse, Sue. She is good at learning to crawl in a maze. I trained her to find food. So there on that page, we have the oo sound, as in good and food. And then we have new and su. So we have both of those sounds on that page. The next day, I take Sue to school in a huge box. But when I open the box, she is gone. Uh-oh. Where could that creature have gone? We check and recheck the classroom. Come on, Sue, I yell. Don't spoil my plan. The kids help me look. So now they're looking everywhere. Our let's find out. Out day is renamed Let's Find Sue Day. I don't think we will ever find Sue. Now I see June Point. June finds my mouse. The day turns out fine, but now Mrs. Booth will rethink the new rule. No more pets in school. So with our story, let's find out. Um, what were the children supposed to do on their let's find out day? So be thinking about that. Maybe answer it right now with yourself. And then instead, what happened? What happened instead? Right, instead, poor Sue the mouse got out and they had to... Um, find her, um, and that's why Miss Booth might rethink her new rule. No more pets in school. Um, remember, when you're retelling the story, um, make sure you are using those transitional words, first, next, then, and last, and make sure you are reading as much as you can at home. Read, 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 read. The more you read, the more fluent reader you become. So if you read a lot, you're going to become a better reader. So keep working hard, first graders. All of us teachers are really proud of you. So keep doing great. See you next time.